In addition to the V4 base software, there are six add-on features that a person can add to their dry fire system that enable you to do different things with the dry fire system. Um, this video we're going to discuss what those different features are and how you enable them. So Bob, tell us a little bit about what the features are, how a person adds these on to the system and just educate us a little bit about the whole Okay, topic. the uh, six features are the squatting, the trap exercises, the report generator, the course designer, followed by the projection software and game animals. Okay. Now the squatting software gives you the ability to be able to shoot more than one shooter at a time, but it's always done in a squad formation. Mm -hmm. The second is trap exercises, which is specifically for a ATA trap targets, and it gives you a fantastic ability to be able to control target angles and really create a very, uh, very meticulous training practice. Mm -hmm. The third one, which is the report generator, allows you to be able to gather all of the shots, the data from all of the shots that you've taken, and massage them with a piece of software which will allow you to pick out uh, exactly the, the data from certain dates, mm -hmm. from certain shooters, and uh, just gives you an ability to be able to cr create a report. Mm -hmm. The course designer is something that would be used by a sporting clay shooter. The idea in sporting clays is it's impossible for us to be able to create every sporting clay target that some customer might want. Mm -hmm. So we've done a fairly good job of creating a lot of sporting clay targets but you may find that it doesn't have the specific ones that you'd like to practice. Right. So the course designer software, when you enable it on your machine, then allows you to be able to create any kind of a target that you, the sporting clay shooter, would like to practice. Mm -hmm. All right, then we get into projection software, and the projection software allows you to project an image on the wall, and then and if you, you could either shoot that with using the visible laser that comes out of the normal heads, or you can insert a visible uh, clay that comes through the projection system. And then finally, the game animals allows you to substitute that clay uh, with game animals such as grouse, pheasants, and so on and so mm -hmm. forth. Mm -hmm. Now, generally when a customer purchases a unit and buys some of these features to start out with, I go ahead and first of all, I register their system online, makes it a little bit easier for them, and then I enable those features that they've purchased. But later on, if a customer decides that they want to add a feature, the easy thing to do at that point is to give us a telephone call and tell us what it is that you want to purchase, mm -hmm. or you can go ahead and place another order online, make sure your email address is there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to charge your credit card, and then we're going to provide you with what we call a token. Mm -hmm. And a token is a character, an alphanumeric character stream of 24 characters with three hyphens involved. And so we'll get that information to you and then you're going to use the help screen on your dry fire program in order to put this token into your system. And once the token is in there, then that feature will be enabled on your computer. Now one other thing that I could say is that the, the enabling of the feature is done inside of the green dry fire box in the hardware that's in there, and it's not in the software that's on your computer. And the beauty of that is that if you have to run your green dry fire box with another computer, then the software is always enabled because it's part of the features right. of that hardware box. Right. So contrary to version 3 and previous versions, they're not actually going to get a a CD along with the system that they're going to actually load the software. Uh, it, it's going to come loaded on the green simulate in the green simulator, and actually all of the features are on there. They're just not enabled. Yes. So all the software that's ever possible is going to be part of it. It's just turned on uh, through the 24-digit alphanumeric code. And so if a person purchases the base system plus squatting software and training exercises you enable that just to simplify it for them. It comes already enabled yes. and it's working. And then later if they want to add projection software, they can do that after the fact, but they have to contact us at Dry Fire USA, Dry Fire America, and get the code from us and then that will enable it and then they're off and running with that new, new feature. Yeah, that's correct. And I think the only other thing that I can think to uh, explain 
is that when you install the feature, when you put that 24 alpha numeric character set into your help screen, you have to be online at that time mm -hmm. so that your computer can get in contact with the server, the UK server, where it'll validate the character stream that you have and then we'll turn it on and then it, once that has been done, it's turned on permanently. Very good. Very good. Well, as you can see, these uh, features are a little bit different from the V3. Uh, people that were familiar with that, these are great new features, but we wanted to uh, make this video so folks would understand how do you enable them, uh, how do I add on if I want to later, and so hopefully we've helped answer a few of those questions today. Now that you've listened to the discussion on features and how to purchase them, I'd like to show you how to enable a feature after you have received the token. So I'm going to start here by going down and opening up an email. And in this email, I have sent myself two features, the tokens which will enable those. So the thing that I want to do here is I want to go to the squatting uh, feature. And I want to go ahead and copy that. Then I want to go back to the dry fire software. And I'm going to come up here and click on help. Then I'm going to come down and click on registration and features. And first over here in the add features dialog box, I want to point out to you that <clears throat> this unit has already been registered. If it had not been registered, this would be asking for a registration. But when you arrive at the simply the upgrade, it tells you that this unit has been registered. And as we spoke about in our discussion, it's typically my practice to register the unit for you so you don't have to necessarily be close to the internet in order to be able to get the unit operational when you first receive it. Now I've copied the token for the training uh, for the squatting software so I'm going to move into the box and do a right click and then I'm going to do a left click on paste and that puts my 24 character token uh, in the proper window and then all I need to do is click on apply the upgrade. Now just before I click that I want you to look down here and see that there is an area which will tell you which features are already enabled. And if we look in this area, we see that currently in this green box, the dry fire physical dry fire unit itself, no features are enabled. Now we're going to go ahead and click on the apply the upgrade. It's going to get in contact with the UK uh, server. It found out that my code up here is legitimate. And it then comes back to me and says that the new feature has been added. I'm going to click OK. Now, in order to see that that has really been added, we're going to go right back to the help screen. We're going to come down to registration and features. And now if we'll look down here in the middle, notice that the squatting is checkmarked. All right. So now what I'm going to do, since I also am going to put trap exercises on this particular unit, I'm going to go back to my email. I'm going to, to uh, copy the training exercises token. I'm going to return to my dry fire unit. I'm going to come up here to the upgrade area where I'm going to upgrade to this feature. I do a right click and a paste. And now as quickly as clicking apply upgrade, it's in contact with the UK web server. It checked the number. It said it was legitimate. It now comes back and says new feature has been added. I click on OK. Now let's go back one more time and make sure I have both features. I click on help. I come down to registration and features. And this time when I look down here, I notice that I have the squatting feature is checkmarked and the trap training feature is checkmarked. And so that pretty well completes our video that has to do with features, how to purchase them, and then how to enable them by installing the tokens through the help screen. And I hope that helps you.